Welcome to my amazing month of travel in good old Australia. From a family trip turned solo backpacker, I met so many amazing people, faced serious challenges, and experienced so many new things, I have a million stories to tell. I'm excited to share my journey with you, and I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, um, welcome to Sydney. Uh, we've been here all day actually, but um, I had a uni test that I had to do, so that's why we haven't really done anything. But Dad and I are just on our way back from the mall. We were informed that it's about a 10 minute walk. Uh, spoiler alert, we were pranked. It's about a 20 minute walk. We just don't know the local way, we're going yeah. the other way. Exactly. I don't know if we're taking the most direct route, but it's kind of okay because um, I'm enjoying looking at the different types of like houses and buildings and stuff here. I haven't been to Australia in like years and years and years, so. It's a interesting experience, but yes, good times. That end. Ah, <laughs> um, this is what two people look like that walk to the wrong street, but with the same name as the place that we're trying to go. Um, swag. So we ended up getting picked up by my uncle, which was lovely, and then we went back, had a great dinner, and slept amazing. Hi, good morning. Um, it is a new day today. Um, it is about 6.30 in the morning, and I'm still very asleep, but um, I, just, I just woke up, um, and I wanted to go see if I can catch the sunrise somewhere, except it kind of looks like um, it's very cloudy. Okay, yeah. It's extremely cloudy. That is all cloud, but it was in a shot. Today, um, I think we're planning on going to a market in the morning and then maybe walking around some art in town later or going to check out some other suburb or whatnot. And yeah, so it should be a fun time. Listen to the birds in this tree. I love seeing all the different birds and trees and bushes and plants. It's so cool. So basically, I think I've come to some shops, which is what I'm looking for. I might stop at a cafe and just, you know, have a, have a little chai, take in, take in the city. Um, and if I see like a bakery or something selling some bread, I might get some of that for breakfast because we don't have any bread. I'm not like the biggest cereal person, but yeah, oh my gosh. I think this is the longest that I've ever vlogged with my arm up all in one go. My arm is sore now. That's embarrassing. Anyways, let's go. So this is the extent of the sunrise that I managed to catch. Not the most dramatic, but lovely <laughs> nonetheless. Um, went back, got ready, and we headed to the Glebe Markets. These markets were so cool. They were filled with vintage clothes, secondhand clothes, some delicious food, handmade stuff. Definitely where all the cool young hipsters hang out. This is an ibis bird. They're like um, pigeons in Australia, or more commonly known as a bin chicken. Um, excuse my terrible accent. I think it's fun though. Um, this is what dad got for lunch. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it might have been Brazilian. Um, but it looked and smelled delicious. And I love how many different parts it has, like, to the meal. We went for a walk down the street in Glebe. Looked at some records. And made our way to the Paddington markets. This was my dream weekend. Just, like, hitting up multiple markets on the same day. These were very cute. A lot smaller. But I had some delicious Egyptian food. It's got eggplant, falafel, hummus, salads, um, just everything you could want. Okay, so we are now with um, my cousin and we finished up at the markets and we are heading to a contemporary Chinese art gallery, which should be exciting. I think we're gonna hop on the bus at some point and yeah. 
Now, the art gallery was amazing. I would highly, highly recommend. It is free, it is not too big, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have the longest attention span for art galleries. Um, the stuff there was really cool, just really interesting, um, fun stuff to look at. We headed to Koi Dessert Bar, which is run by um, this guy called Reynold, who, I don't know if he won MasterChef Australia, but he was cool, um, and one of my goals in going to Sydney was to check out some MasterChef restaurants. Good morning! So, um, last night we went out for dinner, which was very fun, at a Vietnamese restaurant, and then Dad, two of my cousins, and myself went um, to a pub, and then we went to see a drag show, uh, went and had a boogie, that was super fun, um, and we were all home by like, before 12, <laughs> which is so funny. But yeah, so Dad and I are just on our way back from church, um, which was nice, the music was not so nice, but you know, we still appreciate it. As Dad said, it would have been worse if there was no music. But yeah, the plan today is to go to another market and then we are heading to Ikea, which is kind of exciting. So we went to the Marrickville market, which were a lot more sort of farmer's markety type of vibes. Uh, check out these cute kitties. That one snubbed me, but it's fine, I don't care. Um, yeah, it was nice. Uh, we looked at the weather forecast, apparently read it wrong, and it totally poured down and we got soaking <laughs> wet. Uh, we headed to Ikea. I have literally never been to Ikea in my life and was very excited by these little paper tape measures that they handed out. Actually came in handy and I obviously wanted to try the Swedish meatballs at Ikea because that's iconic. I was pleasantly surprised. And what the heck, look at this cool convey about they have that you take your trays to when you're finished eating. Hi guys! Um, I just thought that I would do a bit of sit down check in and I just wanted to share some things that I have noticed slash thought about since I've been in Australia. Um, basically I haven't been here for a long time since like, and I haven't been here since I was like pretty much old enough to really pay proper attention to anything or like remember things well. Um, so I thought I would eat a little mango steam, got a cup of tea. Um, for those of you who don't know because it's not a common fruit um, in New Zealand, uh, mango steam is native to the Malaysian Peninsula, Sumatra and Borneo, which I knew already. Um, I didn't know that. I knew it came from Asia somewhere, but it makes a lot of sense that I would have eaten it before and why I know it is because my mom was from Malaysia. Um, but yeah, so basically it comes in this like thingy and then you press it between like the, this, um, and then it pops open and it's got these, um, white fleshy segments. You pick the segments out and then you eat it. Oh, okay. I was expecting a seed inside that one. Um, I think the smaller ones don't have seeds, but the big ones have seeds inside. Um, and you don't eat the seeds, you just eat the white flesh, and it's sweet, a little acidic, um, jeez, I have no idea what to compare it to, you know what, I'm gonna Google what it tastes like, and put it here. <laughs> Yum, that's so good, so good. Um, anyways. What I'm going to talk about is, I have two things I want to talk about. Firstly, the people at the Glebe markets, and secondly, Ikea. I have a lot of thoughts about Ikea. Um, so basically, the Glebe markets, where we went um, on Saturday morning, um, I showed up. And I'm not, I'm not like insecure about my, like, my, how I look, um, and stuff like that. But I showed up and I was like, why is everyone here so well dressed and so good looking? I don't understand how it works. 
Um, and I was basically just shocked because I feel like in New Zealand, it's very normal just to go out like super chill, just like jeans and t-shirt, like slides or like sweatpants and a hoodie um, and stuff like that. But I just found that all of the people, like younger people mainly, um, really like, not necessarily like fancy fancy, but definitely the kind of like look that you could tell that like they put a lot of effort into like matching stuff even if it was quite casual and like a lot of people like there were quite a lot a few people wearing like makeup which you could like not like natural natural makeup but like you can tell that it's like okay like they are put together and they care about their appearance which I also do and I'm not hating but I just thought it was really interesting and also like in New Zealand, I know that there's definitely a culture of guys not like putting much effort into their appearance. Not everyone, but like it just tends towards like guys are chill, they don't care what they wear, blah blah blah. I also feel like guys put more effort into like their appearance along with the girls in Australia. Um, yeah, I just thought that was really interesting. It might, I mean, obviously that was just one like area, one example. It might have been like a trendy youngsters market, um, but I definitely noticed that. And then the other thing that I noticed about the market was that um, I've never ever, I enjoy going to markets and if I have the opportunity to go to one, I will. Um, but I've never been to a market like this where there were like food stores and handmade stores, but there were so many people selling like secondhand clothes, like stuff out of their wardrobe and all of it was just crappy like fast fashion items which is just sad to see. Hello, it is future me here. Um, I got interrupted when I was recording but basically what I was saying was like I got, I've been to a lot of markets and I op shop a lot but like never ever have I seen this much like like 90% of the stores were just people selling their fast fashion clothes like not not vintage not like well-loved pieces like just tons of stuff that had obviously been like hardly worn if at all and I was just really shocked I don't know it was really sad to see um but kind of beneficial for me because that stuff can be hard to find in op shops um like more fancier like going out to fast fashion-y clothes um which I don't really buy fast fashion so it was beneficial to me and for what I needed but it was very sad to see so much of it um but yeah so that was just another interesting point but this is where this vlog is gonna end from here um dad and I went to the Blue Mountains and we went to Canberra did a little road trip so definitely tune into the next vlog for that one thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this is my first travel vlog and hopefully the first of many to come I really enjoyed making it actually so if you're new here feel free to subscribe stick around hit the notification bell if you've watched a lot of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet why what, what are you doing just just a kind question from a friend to a friend um but yeah hope you have a great rest of the day evening morning or afternoon wherever you are and i will see you later hello you come here sometimes. Is, a baby, is that a baby sorry hello. looks like a stupid one most birds oh, don't come that close to people you hurt me? Mm. Do I have anything to give you?